Hello everybody, this is Structures Guy. Today we're talking about thermal expansion of civil structures. It is generally thought that civil structures like buildings and bridges are static structures or things that don't move, but that cannot be further from the truth. In fact, structures can move for different reasons, like thermal expansion, wind pressure, or even earthquake. Today we'll focus on thermal expansion or movement. Engineers have developed various ways to accommodate for this kind of movement, and one of those methods is expansion joints. Thermal expansion is the ability of a material to change its shape with temperature changes. For structures, the main concern is the change of length or width due to temperature changes. Maybe you have an experience with this if you pour cold water in a glass that just came out of the dishwasher. As you can see here, the glass cracked as soon as it touched cold water. The reason this happens is that as the glass is cooled by the cold water, it shrinks rapidly and cracks. Thermal expansion is given by this simple equation. Delta L is the change in length. Alpha is the thermal coefficient of material. L is the original length and delta T is a change in temperature. A good example of this is a city sidewalk. Looking back at the equation, we can plug in values for a very typical situation in which there is a temperature fluctuation between the summer and the winter. If we enter the thermal expansion coefficient for concrete, the average length of a city block, and the average high and low temperatures in a given year, we get an average expansion of 4.2 centimeters or about 2 inches. Obviously, you can't leave a gap this big at the end of the sidewalk. Instead, we leave small gaps spaced every few feet or meters to accommodate for thermal expansion movement. Some gaps in the concrete are just saw cuts and those are meant to control cracking like the one you see here, but other gaps are actual breaks in the concrete some are empty, but others are filled with a flexible material, like the ones you see here. Those are expansion joints which give the sidewalk the ability to move during temperature changes. Other structures move as well due to temperature. Train tracks can buckle if they don't have a method to accommodate for thermal expansion. Tracks usually have those kind of joints to allow for movement. You can see those kinds here. Movement between high and low temperatures of a breather switch can be seen in this picture or this picture. Structural steel that's exposed to weather also have expansion joints by having the beam pinned at one end but free to slide or move in the other end, or a small gap at the end of each beam to allow for thermal movement. Heated structures such as buildings or airports will also have expansion joints to allow for the exterior structure or the facade to move, as you can see here. Also, when connecting two buildings with two different facades, expansion joints are used to allow the two buildings to move freely due to temperature changes. Car bridges have expansion joints to allow for linear movement. Bridges have different kinds of expansion joints, like the ones you see here. This video was filmed in the winter and that's why you see this big gap in the expansion joints. Those gaps almost vanish in the summer since the steel will expand due to the hot weather. Pedestrian bridges have small gaps every few feet to allow for thermal expansions like the ones you see here. Thanks for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed the video. I appreciate your support. Please let me know what kind of topics you want me to cover in the future and please don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next videos. See you next time!